Hello all and welcome back to my channel Sopnil's Analysis and I am Sopnil. Today we are going to discuss a very beautiful and interesting poem of Nizim Ezekiel who is considered as one of the most renowned and celebrated post-independent Indian poet and his poem which we are going to discuss today is The Night of the Scorpion. Now this poem is studied all across the world in the classes of English literature as well as at the school level and why because this poem contains a very uh, interesting facts about Indian society and that to the society which has been reflected in this poem is around 1960s or mid 1970s so what has happened India got independence in 1947 as we all are aware of that and moreover that Indian society in the 1960s and 1970s were not the educated society I means society did not have that much of scientific temperament that people use today now Indian society in today's term in 2020 its educated society it has scientific it has scientific uh, temperament and it is far above the superstitions but the 1960s society was completely riddled with the superstitions and they had their superstitious beliefs and so what happens a minor incident in this society is considered as a very huge incident the poem depicts village life of the 1960s because uh, his this poem the uh, night of the scorpion was published in the exact name his poetic collection which was published in 1965 so ezekiel and other poets like A.K. Ramanujan uh, or R.K. Narayan, they have very perfectly depicted the contemporary Indian society. Very perfectly. And they have touched upon the issues which were grappling the contemporary society. And they depicted the society as it is. So they did not uh, mingle their imagination or something like that. So in this poem, the night of the scorpion the speaker is a young man around his 30s and he is here recalling the incident which had happened when he was a child around 10 to 12 years old because he is he could recollect everything whatever he is informing us through this poem he has stored all these memories in this uh, in his mind for a very long time and now why he is recollecting because we only recollect the things in our life which are very important to us which we never forget there are some incident in all of us lives so in this uh, poem the speaker of the poem he is recollecting an incident when his mother was stung by a scorpion and how his how the how his neighbors how the people of the his villages how they reacted to that incident and how he was very defenseless as a child that that he merely watched what they all were doing and he were unable to do anything to help or relieve the pain of his mother and therefore today he is recalling all those memories he is recalling that specific incident of his past life when he was a child what actually uh, what actually had happened when a scorpion had stung to his mother this is a very simple narrative poem written in a first person and it the poem is very direct and written in a very easy simple English that if you just read the poem you would understand everything okay so let us start I remember I remember the night my mother was stung by a scorpion 
टेन आवर्स ऑफ स्टडी रेन है ड्राइवन हिम टू क्रॉल बिनीथ अ सैक ऑफ राइस सो हियर इन द फर्स्ट टू लाइन्स ही इज इन्फॉर्मिंग अर्स दैट ही स्टिल रिमेंबर द मेमरीज वेन हिज मदर गॉट स्टंग बाय अ स्कॉर्पियन आर वेरी विविड एंड फ्रेश इन साइड हिज माइंड देर फोर ही सेज आई रिमेंबर द नाइट my mother was stung by a scorpion now how did the scorpion come inside his home the reason he has given that 10 hours of steady rain had driven him to crawl beneath a sack of rice because it was raining persistently it was raining uh, consistently for 10 hours therefore to take a shelter the scorpion had sneaked in his house now his house wasn't a very huge house like a mansion or a bungalow he had a very small hut as uh, the contemporary indian of 1960s or peasants of 1960s had that they had the hut uh, hut thatched with the mud and mud wall and all these things so his his house was very small house so to take the shelter or to save himself from the rain the scorpion had sneaked inside the house of the speaker so and what did he do what the scorpion did that he stung his mother now the scorpion here has represented as an evil why he has represented as an evil we'll discuss that later parting with his poison flash of diabolic tail in dark room he risked the rain again this line is very important he risked the rain again so he was hiding under the rice sack now his room his house the whole house rather than room the whole house was a semi dark because electricity had not reached to the villages at that time because india was a newly independent country so there was a lantern or a candle was burning somewhere in the corner of the house so room was semi dark and therefore the scorpion he stung his mother and what he had called as his diabolic tail as his evil diabolic means evil devil so why he is calling the diabolic uh, means evil and devil this only because because evil is a person who made us suffer who gives us pain therefore his mother was suffering for the whole night she was groaning therefore he called scorpion as an evil who gives pain to the ordinary people so and the last line of the second stanza is he risked the rain again implies that after stinging to his mother the scorpion he went back into the rain again why because probably the scorpion might have realized or sensed that now people they would find him and they would kill him they would smash him therefore he says he risked the rain again now and then he left off then he ran off from their house then what happens see here the poem is so microcosmic of indian society that what exactly happens in india when such a tragic incident happens in a person's life that all the people they just barge into the house of that affected person so the same thing happened here the peasants came like swarms of flies and burst the name of a god 100 times to paralyze the evil one evil ones means the effect of the evil they were chanting the names of god now we all are aware and we all have studied in the religious books that only god can tame the evil so therefore they all started chanting the name of a various gods why to tame the evil and here he has used a very good simile here the peasants came like swarm of flies now what here he is saying that as 
why he has compared peasants or his neighbors to the flies it is only because they were uninvited and they were irritating as the flies do they uninvitedly enter into our house and they irritate us by buzzing around our ears and therefore he has the used the word first he compared the peasants to the swamp flies and as the fly buzz around in our house they started buzzing the name of the gods 100 times this is a kind of a superstitious belief which contemporary indian society of 1960s thought that by just chanting the name of the god you can get rid of anything so a beautiful simile used by him and then the next act of the peasants with candles and with lanterns throwing giant scorpion shadows on the mud baked walls they searched for him him means for the scorpion he was not found so what happened some people they were chanting the names of the god to tame the evil and this mostly happen in india that when some tragic incident happen all the people of neighbor and everyone they just barge into that house and they just show their sympathy towards that affected person so what happened here villagers or the peasants they were holding candles and lanterns into their hands and they were searching for the scorpion why they wanted to smash the scorpion smash the scorpion but the scorpion had already left which we have been told in the second stanza third line he risked the rain again and then he left off after stinging the mother of the speaker so naturally the peasants and the neighbors they could not found the scorpion and then they started clicking their tongues they clicked their tongues with every movement that the scorpion made his poison moved in the mother's blood they said now henceforth he has used the term as they said very often why because they means they were around 15 to 25 people in that small house and they all were chanting the names of god and all these people they were saying something everyone had something to say about this incident incident of stinging by the scorpion now one person said that the more the scorpion moves the more the poison or the venom of the scorpion moves inside the body of the mother so they were all praying that he should be still he should stand still so the mother would feel less pain this is a kind of a superstition or the belief of the society which they held because every society every people every community had their own beliefs so some were believing some were said that okay we must steal the scorpion why because the more he moves the more the poison of scorpion moves inside the body of the mother so may he sit still they said then after saying when someone said this that the more the scorpion move the more the poison of the scorpion spread in the blood of the mother so someone said may he sit still so god please let him stand still may the sins of your previous birth be burned away tonight they said means someone said that okay you are stung by the scorpion and this is the golden opportunity for you to burn away your sins of the previous birth so this is an implication towards the punishment given by god to you for your previous sins your previous misdoing may your suffering decrease the misfortunes of your next birth they said then another said why he is using they said because there were around 20 to 25 people and someone was saying something so he wasn't sure so he is using the word they as a group word to imply to that that someone said 
the whole not group but one person said because he did not know who that one person was therefore he is using they said now what uh, one person said that okay this is the golden chance for you why even if you die today see may your suffering decrease the misfortunes of your next birth they said if even if you die today it will be easier for you in the next birth your next life will be without suffering so this is the very golden chance for you even if you die because of this pain it will reduce the suffering of your in your next birth may the sum of all evil balanced in this unreal world against the sum of good become diminished by your pain so whatever the sin you have committed in this present life or your previous life now all those sins are going to be balanced why because you are suffering by the pain because you are going through the pain and now all these people they were saying something some were chanting the names of god some were searching for the scorpions and some were say, so some people uh, were saying all these things meanwhile the mother of the speaker was lying at the center of the floor and she was curling from one side to another and she was groaning and she was completely silent she wasn't saying anything may the poison purify your flesh of desire and your spirit of ambition they said and what happened that someone said that this poison will purify your flesh will purify your body and all these people they were sitting around the mother and mother was lying at the center and all these people were sitting around the mother all were holding candles or lantern into their hands and they sat around on the floor of with floor my mother in the center the peace of understanding on each face so everyone was very peaceful on the other hand his mother was suffering she was groaning and she was turning from one side to another side and they were just chanting they were not helping what they were giving or what in a way indirectly they all were consoling his mother this is actually a good thing that has happened to you it will purify your body it will balance your sins this is the punishment given by to you uh, uh, given by god to you for your sins of previous birth and moreover it will also lessen your suffering or decrease your sufferings in your next birth so nothing bad has happened with you in a way they were consoling the mother who was groaning with pain and lying before them in the center of the house more candles more lanterns more neighbors more insects and the endless rain so here insects and the endless rain means people were completely fed of the rain why because he has informed us already that it had been raining for last 10 hours and the more the news spread in the village the more the neighbors came to their house to see the mother therefore he says more candles more lanterns more neighbors more insects and more trains a uh, more rains and all these things was completely uninvited by the family of the speaker they all had gathered there they just doing their neighbor uh, they they were just performing their neighborly duty okay my mother twisted through and through groaning on a mat she was lying on a mat and she was just twisting and turning from one side to another side and she was groaning and she was completely silent she wasn't saying anything to anyone and now the father my father skeptic rationalist trying every curse and blessing powder mixture herb and hybrid so what here see 
what we all do that when we have a sore throat what we are are advised by other people that why don't you drink ginger tea why don't you gargle with warm water so what these are these are our home remedies so his father who was skeptic skeptic towards what people were saying what people they were saying of purification of blood about the sin about the punishment about the suffering he was skeptic towards all those people were saying all those things that people were saying and he was also rationalist he was also thinking very logically so what he had knew what a person what he should do when a person get stung by the scorpion he was doing all these things to relieve the mother from the pain or to reduce the pain of her of his wife and he was doing all his duty and moreover he went even further that he even poured a little paraffin upon the beaten toe and put a match to it and just he might have heard somewhere that if you rub some paraffin and you lit it then it will also reduce the pain why he was doing all this thing he was performing his duty as a husband because his wife she was groaning she was lying on the floor she was groaning she was suffering she she was going through the pain and he was doing everything within was his capacity to relieve or get rid of poison of the scorpion so and here then the speaker says his defenseless uh, his weakness is reflected how i watched the flame feeding on my mother because he could not say anything that papa why are you burning mother what are you doing this could rather hurt the uh, this could rather harm the mother but what he says that i watched the flame feeding on my mother he did not do anything why because he was child he did not know what was happening and he did not know how to cure his mother so he was observing everything very silently the mother was silent and he was also silent i watched the holy man perform his rites to tame the poison with an incantation and he was chanting some stotras some mantras like a tantric what he felt at that night that his father was a some kind of a tantric who was performing some rites to relieve his mother from the pain and then after 20 hours it lost its sting then finally after 20 hours means his mother uh, she was suffering for the whole night she was groaning for the whole night and after 20 hours the effect of the poison effect of the venom of the scorpion decreases it declined gradually or naturally and then she became normal then what did she do when she became normal she broke her silence how my mother only said see he is giving us all the first hand experience my mother only said thank god the scorpion picked on me and spared my children that what she said that thank god i pray to the god i thanks god that scorpion picked me and spared my children why because she knew that her children they were unable or they would not have borne the pain of what she has gone through so this is a complete devotion of a mother towards her children and a reflection of indian society means post independent indian society how people were thinking and what me these are the all home remedies these are not only the superstitions but this belief you you find everywhere this is a part of the culture so and this is very perfectly depicted by nizim ezekiel so what do you think uh, about this uh, poem about this my analysis do let me know uh, by your uh, by your comments in the comments box and if you have liked my presentation 
प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग